Thanos did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. What's so exciting for us and was the intention from the start many years ago when we embarked on this two-picture journey uh, uh, to sort of tie up the Marvel Cinematic Universe is that it would be very hard to predict where Avengers Endgame goes mm. and how it gets there. We lost, all of us. We lost friends, we lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. All of the remaining heroes deal with the events of the end of Infinity War differently. I think most of them are not used, all of them are used to trauma of one kind or another. None of them are used to being defeated so thoroughly by a single antagonist. And I think they're, they, they are trying to figure out how that happened and why that happened. This is Scott Lang. We met a few years ago at the airport in Germany. Got dropped really big. Is this an old message? Ant Man, Ant Man. I know you know. I know you know that. That's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? It's been a journey, and it's been a journey for ten plus years for our fans, for people that enjoy going to the movies, and the reaction to the end of Infinity War when half of their favorite characters dissipated and turned to dust really was indicative of how emotionally connected the the world has gotten to these characters. It is triply so for those of us working day in and day out on these movies, and certainly the actors who have been portraying these characters for many years. This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is, because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't.